So this user said, I, I read your article about wait function and how we should avoid it. What if we need to intercept more than one API, like 10 APIs? You can do that. Like, uh, not, not sure if there's a, if there's a conflict between those because you can intercept how many APIs you want. And for example, if, if I were to, uh, I, I can show you on this example, actually, I think that's, and that could work. Like, let me, let me just remove all of the useless stuff in here and, uh, and do, do something like this where I'll just uh, match this request, API cards, queue, and then whatever after that, I'm going to call it search. And then when I type ABC, after that, I want to wait for, uh, for that search, but I want to wait for that three times. So there are a couple of ways of how you can do that. You can do it like this, which is kind of repetitive, but it works. <laughs> and you have just asserted that this, uh, LM, uh, this API call happens three times. If I were to put one more in here, the test would fail because uh, the that API was called just three times and not four times. Or what you can do, uh, I believe you can still do that. I haven't really used it for a quite a long time, but you can pass an array. So in here it would be search, search and search, which is still kind of repetitive. I, I remember that using a route, there was a, there, there was a way to like put a number. You could do something. I, I, I think you could do something like search dot three or something like that, uh, I believe, but I don't think it, it works anymore. Yeah, it's not going to recognize that. I think there was something, something uh, in here where you could just like add a number to alias and wait for like a third request. But yeah, I guess it, it doesn't work now. So if you have 10 of those, then just write 10 of those. Uh, uh, I think that's that's like the best solution so far. So I yeah. wonder if you can use um, jQuery times. So if you do okay. Cypress dot underscore dot um, times, you might be able to do that. What, what, what do you, do mean? you know what I mean? Like, no, not really. <laughs> so, like, okay, Cypress. I mean, I know what you mean. Cypress dot jQuery dot times. Yeah. So, so times is a jQuery, um, is a jQuery command, and it doesn't times find it. Is a oh, it doesn't. Then maybe don't you doesn't. by the way confuse it with with the low dash? Like there was a low dash. Oh, times, really but it was, but it was a oh, that's a, right. yeah, sort of that's a for loop uh, where you could like run something a couple of times, and that's what I, that's what I'm mixing it with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think yeah, I mean yeah, you could dash do times. that. I think you could do that. What's the? How does this work? Like this. So it invokes whatever you pass it. Um. Yeah. So like like this, like I'll do wait and then search. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Well, that's that's a nice thing. Like if you have this situation happening a um, couple of times uh, in uh, in your test, then you could easily like wrap this either inside a custom command or like a helper function or something where you would define the N, like how many times you want to wait for something and then the name of the yeah. alias on, on which you want to wait. Like this could work. This is a, this is a nice idea. I, I like it. 